Today I'm doing a small video on the trailer battery charge line. It's a 12 volt supply for trailers. This is a 2017 F-150. We've got a wheelchair lift that won't uh, power. Talked to the Ford dealership. Everything was uh, working fine. So what I come to believe and find out is this computer is smart and it knows um, if there's actually a trailer hooked up. So uh, here is a set of portable lights. They're, they're plugged in and you see we've got no, no power. This is a little adapter I made. This is an amber light hooked up to the 12 volt supply and I got a clear bulb hooked up to the reverse terminal and the uh, trailer brake control. So if you had brakes you could rotate your gain up and down and watch the light bulb uh, increase or decrease. So we'll come back to the vehicle. It has to be running. It'll recognize a trailer with the key on, but it won't turn the 12 volt supply on unless the engine is running. So we'll press the brake pedal for about three seconds and the computer will see that there is a trailer back there. And we'll go with trailer connected. Now we're gonna have 12 volt supply. When I first uh, figured this out, I only hooked up to one side. I found the passenger side was the side that you had to, to tie into. So we've unhooked the trailer, so to speak. Let's put it in gear. It'll realize there's no trailer hooked up. It'll turn the power off. We'll come back here and look. No power. So hook up this test light to the passenger side. Let me lay this down. Hook up a test light to the passenger side lead of the trailer wire there. Come back inside, we'll press the brake, we'll turn it on. But the computer is smart enough to realize that only the right side is working, not the left. It'll throw a trailer fault code. Trailer left turn lamp fault, check lamps. So what I suggest if you guys are in a situation like mine where you're not actually pulling a trailer, you're just trying to use your 12 volt supply, whether you're running a power inverter to, to um, run a refrigerator in the bed of your truck on a camping trip or run a saws all to trim some trees, whatever the case may be. Uh, just wire up two bulbs. I'll probably take um, a bulb in here and, and, and make that think that there's something hooked on both sides. But in my actual application, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this left license plate light be the left side of the trailer, I'm gonna make the right be the right side of the trailer, and I'm gonna use the red light as just a, a, a park, a park light. That way the trailer will think I have left signal and right signal and I will have uh, park lights. Uh, only thing I can see is these are gonna get power on the on the brake side, but um, it shouldn't matter because my test light is only a single filament bulb as well. Hopefully this helps you guys if you ran into a situation like we did trick the computer, put a load on um, on one of the trailer wires, and it'll turn on the 12-volt power. Thank you.